Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bonnie Lempele. I'm a mom, a wife and a believer. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank everyone that has subscribed on my YouTube channel, have viewed my YouTube channel and have liked some of my videos. I really, really appreciate and please do not stop. Continue to do that and I, I, I really appreciate. To those who haven't, please go visit my channel, subscribe, like and comment down below. So today I would like to talk about um, being young, being in a serious relationship in a, or in a committed relationship or even being married. What is it that is expected from you, maybe from your in-laws? What is it that they need you to, to, to present to them? And uh, I'll, in my case, I'll talk about myself. When we started uh, to make our relationship serious and we talked about it, okay, babe, do you want, uh, are you ready for me? That was my, my fiance asking me. Are you ready for me to, to, to introduce myself at your home, to everyone, to your mom? And are you ready for me to take another step? So after me and my husband have agreed that, okay, we both want this, I am in, he's in, okay, we are doing it. He sent his people, Abu Malume, yes, Abu Malume, Ekaya, and they paid Lobola, and they came back for Umembezo and Umkeso. So two things were done in one weekend. We did Umembezo ceremony on a Saturday and then we did Umkeslo on a Sunday. And a few months after I did my Ingoba Masondo. So all of these four steps, they are crucial steps that lead to a big day for me and my husband. Uh, as Zulu people, you are not regarded as a, a wife fully if you haven't done this steps. If members, lobolas were not paid for you, or members was not paid for you. Some people believe in umkeslo, some doesn't. Apparently, in both of our families, we do believe in umkeslo. So that's why we did umkeslo. My husband did umkeslo for me. And I did in Obama Sondo. So now it's only a wedding day that is left and i know i've been getting so many questions when are you getting married when are you changing your surname wait it's coming it's coming i'll let you know don't worry so uh today i just wanna talk about being young and being married what is it that is expected from you even though you're not married per se but being young and being in, in a committed relationship, because I'm not married at, at this time and point, but I am in a committed relationship and I regard myself as because of the steps that have been done to ensure that I have a belonging. Because some people refer to me as Mrs. Mshongo already and some knows me as Mpele, but they know that you are, I am half the side, I'm half the side. So I need to, to, to be able to to provide for my family and to know what is it that is needed from me when my thing started i was uh, 21 and i was away from home i just came back for the ceremony and everything so what i am trying to emphasize in all of these things when i'm saying being a young wife and knowing what is expected from you especially from your in-laws I mean, cause me na, kwami, kuse, kuse, it's still villages. So, what is it that is needed from me? I should be able to, to, to cook with a three-legged pot in the fire. I should be able to, to bake. Ucheke, ay ucheke, ucheke. And I should be able to... To cook for number of people. Mind you, at home, they still treat me as, they were still treating me as a girl. Whenever there's function, you won't see me baking a boche. You won't see me with uh, three-legged pots, 
cooking samp, cooking rice with big pots in the fire. You would never see me doing those things. You'll find me in the dishes, you'll find me decorating at the tent, but you'll never find me in those serious positions where now I am expected to step in from the other side. So when I say, what is it that is needed from you? Or what is it that is expected from you when you step in into the role of being a wife to someone or a fiance to someone, a fiance that has been paid all of these things or the families are, are now have been united. What is it that you are expected to do? On my side, I have stated the things that I needed to know. I needed to know how to cook um, on board. Like, I, I needed to know those things because they are essential parts of family gatherings and everything. So, Usbo didn't know all of those things. Even today, I'm still learning. I won't lie. So, all thanks to my aunt-in-law who is teaching me step by step. Every time there's a ceremony or every time uh, there's something, they're hosting something, I, I, I make sure that I take a leave at work and go home so that I, I, I can be able to learn all of those things because I'm now here at the cities and we don't do those things. Should it happen that one day I don't have anyone to help me or there's no one that will come during the week where else we are having a ceremony on a weekend. I should be able to start and finish all the processes that I need to do. So, when I go home, because now I have two homes. I have the Mklongos, I have the Mbeles. I do not cheat anymore. I need to woman up now. I need to wear my big mm -mm, and ensure that I learn as much as I can. But then, in my case, they were understanding enough to know that, ah, shame, she's still young, we still need to teach her. And fortunate enough, they have never had umakoti or figure as in dal. In most cases, they have young umakoti coming in and they teach them. So, guys, out of all these things that I've mentioned, I would like to say to a young woman out there, but he, you don't know who you don't know who you are going to marry. And by me saying it means learn as much as you can. Seek knowledge as much as you can. Even today, I know that I am in the city right now, but I try by all means Andi, please help me. How do we cook How do we measure for maybe four cups of flour? How do we measure for ten cups of flour? How do we measure for twenty cups of flour to cook ujek? And how do we cook ujek? How do we ensure that okay ujek also for sale? How do you feel that the steam bread have is ready? How do you taste it? So learn as much as you can. Ask, seek knowledge. Do not stay in your corner and say ah. Me now, I'll, I'll just because I know that every man has a culture, so you should be equipped with everything. If they say, Okay, you are going to Western, you know how Westerns are. If you are going to Zulus, you know how Zulus are. If you are going to Kosas, you know how Kosas are. Same as Tana, same as uh, babies. So, you need to know as a woman, you, you need to always learn about cultures and what is it that is needed from you. And what I can say about being young and being married, the same way, the same confidence that you have with your social media platforms, the same energy that you have when you need to do the pianos, it's the same energy that you need to put in into your marriage, into your partner's uh, lifestyle, into your family's lifestyle, because it, it should it should balance. So, from me, a young wife. Wasemakaya coming to the cities, I still need to balance the life. It's okay. Right now I'm in the cities. What is it that is expected from me? Um, 
I should treat my husband per se, or I should treat my in-laws whenever they are coming at my place. What is it that is needed from me? What is it that is needed from me when I am when I'm at home? Yes, I'm in Johannesburg right now. I'm wearing like this. You can see my shoulders. You can see my hair. But find me at my in-laws. This is not me. I have my duke on. Um, I have my 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 t-shirt or my long sleeve t-shirt. I do not wear short sleeve. Summer, winter, autumn, spring. Yeah, fine. I do not wear short sleeves, and then I should wear a skirt. And after that, I wear my ipinifa. After my ipinifa, they call it kiba. I wear uton touch. Uton touch is just a. a a way of showing that you are somebody's wife mind you when it's a ceremony there are lots of people uh, people that you have never met people who doesn't know you i'm young they might think it's oh this is just one of the girls zalaikaya or one of the the cousins so yeah they, we can just call her hey Exe, can you please come to the side i want to talk to you you know how men are so whenever you are wearing that don't touch thing, it's just a small anyana duke that you just put it across. That's a sign of, no, no, she's taken by someone. So by me wearing like that, I know my roles. I, I, I know what's okay. Right now, I mean, I'm at home. This is how I should look like. Because right now, if I'm wearing like this, at my in-laws it's disrespect like it's a total no no this side it's just me and my husband we are kids this side we go out and play with other kids so mind you i cannot just go there with my duke and my don't touch and have da 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 no it don't it don't work so on this side although I am still respecting my husband, ensuring that he gets whatever he needs. So, in those terms, I mean, do not forget who you are. Do not um, forget what is needed from you. Wherever you are, whenever you are, ensure that you know your roles and you can play it with confidence. If you do not know anything, or if you do not know something, please ask. There are people who are always willing to help. And but he in Jaina Ibuzoba Pambil by that saying on its own, which means you cannot do everything on your own. You need to ask people who have walked this path and ensure that they teach you the the dynamics of it. They ensure that you know what is it that you need to do and what is it that you don't need to do. And thank you very much. Have a good day. Do not forget to live, love and love.